Hey guys, and welcome to Muskoka Bros. We are in our new studio. We are very happy with the way it turned out. The uh, big sticker behind me took a lot of effort. Uh, my wife and my sister, they uh, slapped it up there and made it look easy. Matt and I had to, we had to go get the food while they kind of did the hard part. But I think it's turned out really well and this is kind of our little home base for when things outdoors uh, aren't the greatest conditions to film. So we thought that this studio would be a good opportunity to still connect with you guys, still keep cranking out the content. We're gonna move on to unboxing a very amazing thing and it is such a, an amazing gift that uh, we had made for us. Uh, amazing new, newish uh, Bucksaw company called Maple Made. Uh, Maple Made Bucksaw. The guy that runs the company, we have got to know each other over the last, I'd say, year. And him and I, we uh, we we started chatting online, and then we we've had a couple phone calls and stuff like that back and forth. Uh, I had planned a trip to go out to um, to Calgary, where he's from. Is it Calgary? Yeah, to Calgary, where he's from. And uh, I was going to go out and film and do all this amazing epic set stuff, but the whole coronavirus kind of thing just uh, squashed those plans for now. But we hope to kind of reconnect so we can go out uh, to um, Alberta and uh, meet up with him and maybe do some, uh, some filming maybe at Banff. Has anybody heard of that place? Anyways, uh, on to the main thing, which is this. That doesn't smell good, but this beautiful, beautiful package, and it's uh, it's got even their little logo on here, uh, Maple Made Bucksaw, and now originally. Um, Originally, I, I've seen a bunch of different variations of these saws, but just interacting with Jody and he adds so much personal uh, touches to his saws that we thought, you know, we really want to kind of expand, um, maybe just being in Ontario, but we wanted to expand into um, all over Canada and make some really good connections. And this one was a, a great one, uh, Jody. Thank you. I want to say that now um, before we open. Uh, I'm going to use my Satterfield knife to open this. It might be a little overkill. And I don't know what end to open. I don't want to wreck anything. Okay, that looks really taped. This one doesn't look as taped. So I'm just going to do a bit of surgery here. And uh, he sent this and it actually got to me not, like it got to me faster than I thought it was gonna be. Duct tape on the ends, very Canadian. I just wanna tear it open, but I don't wanna wreck anything. Okay, here we go, here we go. Look at that packaging. You know what, I need to put this back in here before I cut myself again. <laughs> I mean, for the first time. All right, let's see. Ooh, Ooh what's this? All right, first part of the box off. I have an idea what it is, but I'm not 100%. Ooh, baggie here. Alright, what's in this baggie? Ooh. I don't know what the technical term for these are, but the little thingy that winds it up. So, and then it's even got, boom, maple made buck saw. I don't know if you can see that. I'll zoom on it. I'll zoom in on it later. 
And then on the back, it's got a beautiful tree. And then this will wind everything together, I'm assuming. I've never used one of these saws before, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Oh, I wonder if there is a little note in here. Okay. Dear Muskoka Bros, you guys are the best YouTube channel in the world. No, I'm just joking. Okay, so this is just kind of giving you a little insight. Uh, what I'll do is um, I will post what this says in the bio, and it gives you just a little bit uh, more information of the saw. But I just want to dive in. I'm too excited to just keep waiting here, and I'm just going to open her up. Oh, it goes, thanks guys, keep your hands off my ash. Jody. That's so cute. We will. We will. Oh my goodness. That's neat. Nice little canvas bag satchel. Very nice. Let's get this out of here. All right. So I've kept you all in suspense long enough. So we're just gonna open. I'm gonna have to do a tutorial later on how to put this together. This is just kind of your typical unboxing. Oh, this looks amazing. I don't want to drop or wreck anything because I'm being filmed. I'm just gonna take this one out for now. That's some fancy stuff. Oh my goodness, it smells like Alberta. This is beautiful. Okay, so there's the first one. This is, yeah, this is honestly my first time ever kind of handling a box saw like this. I, I have, I have at uh, another show, uh, the Outdoor Adventure Show, but it was already together and it wasn't personalized like this. And oh my goodness. So look at that. So you're probably wondering why it says established 1852. And it has to actually do with uh, my family farm that I live on. That is the year that uh, our property was established, which is really, really amazing. He wanted to make something that would uh, represent uh, the farm and our heritage and just um, the pioneer spirit uh, that was uh, the Weller name. Uh, when this land was like, when they first established here, all the fields that you know, get farmed here uh, were trees and they would have had to have um, cut them down with similar type uh, saws. So this kind of pays a really nice homage uh, to our farm. And uh, we really just, uh, this is, this is going to be a, like a family heirloom now that uh, I hope to pass down to my son um, or Matt Pats passes down to his son, Joshua. Uh, anyways, this buck saw will stay on our farm uh, until the end of time. So um, thank you, Jody, again, for uh, just being so thoughtful um, in your process and stuff like that. And uh, I know that uh, we're going to have further um, things to do to work together. Um, I, I'm totally like, how does this work? So I'm going to kind of get into maybe the mechanics a little bit more. Uh, I'll try to put it together, but know that this is my first time uh, doing this. So I, I'm a total rookie. Okay. So there we go. 
Uh, if I'm being honest, I had to shut the camera off because the fridge was making a noise that was bothering me. And um, yeah, so this goes like this. And I'm probably, and then these go in the joints. Oh, that's smooth. Okay, don't let me drop this. Okay, and then this goes like, like that. Okay. So, and then these, Jody, I'm lost only because I've never done this before. Total rookie right here. Okay. I'm assuming... Sorry guys. Maybe something I've seen this done a bunch of times. Not a hundred percent. So, is it, does it, all right, so my wife has just indicated to me that we turned this 11 times. So let's count this at one, two, three, four, five, five ow, six. Seven. Oh my goodness. You sure, Jody? Oh, what was that? Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Jody, if I've done this wrong. Please don't be mad at me. <sighs> All right. So obviously the rope is so that this um, makes it more solid and it gives it more tension uh, for when you're using it. Anyways, I've probably done this um, wrong or right. Um, I think this is the general gist of it, but obviously Jody's going to show me how to, how he does this in like two seconds. Um, but as of right now, um, to talk about the, the saw itself is it is made of ash. And so he's darkened the ends here and he's kind of, what he told me in, uh, in our conversations is that he's calling this kind of the darkened horse edition. He's never done this before, so it's special to Muskoka Bros and it really kind of is, is very, very beautiful. And it represents kind of, uh, if you have ever seen the kind of picture of, or footage of uh, the old house, it kind of has that same type of patina on it that it kind of has a like a worn in look, which is really, really cool. And uh, this is being dubbed uh, the grandfather, which is really cool. And uh, it kind of has that pioneer old timey feel. And I just love this to pieces. I'm going to be taking out it out and using it uh, whenever I can. And this is just another beautiful thing to add to um, the Muskoka Bros collection of really high quality uh, goods that we stand behind. Um, if you want to check more out of Jody's stuff, uh, please don't hesitate to um, hop on our website or even there will be a link in the uh, description below uh, sending you to his way. He's got an amazing Instagram account that he is on there uh, daily, if not hourly, which is really cool. 
he is a, an amazing guy and his quality of work just kind of stands for itself. Guys, if you are in the market for looking um, for a buck saw of any, any kind, I suggest you check this out. Uh, talk with 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 Jody about what you want, and uh, and he can kind of work with uh, what you want. All right, guys. So this is our unboxing video of this amazing maple made buck saw, dubbed the grandfather, which makes so much sense for what we represent. We also want you guys to like and subscribe. Also hit the no notification button so that you guys will be informed when and where we have content coming your way. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and thank you so much Jody for this amazing saw. We love it and we love you man. Till next time guys.